President Joe Biden says Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's approach to the war against Hamas is mistaken. Biden's remarks in an interview that aired last night deep in an already growing rift between the two allies over the war. Those disagreements have compounded over the worsening humanitarian crisis in the Gaza Strip. Israel is expected to make an offensive strike in the city of Rafah. Biden's criticism also comes days after Israel's strike on a humanitarian convoy, which killed seven aid workers, most of them foreigners. There are strong reactions to the Arizona Supreme Court ruling upholding an 1864 law that places a near total ban on abortions. The law makes performing an abortion a felony punishable by up to five years in prison. Some Arizona Republicans are distancing themselves from the ruling. GOP Senate candidate Carrie Lake, a Trump ally, called the law out of step with Arizonans. President Biden called the ruling extreme and dangerous. The parents of Michigan school shooter Ethan Crumley have been sentenced. Tuesday, a judge sentenced James Crumley to 15 years behind bars. His wife, Jennifer, received a 10-year sentence. They will both receive credit for the 858 days they've already served. The judge also said Tuesday the Crumleys may not have any contact with the families of the four victims killed in the 2021 shooting. Attorneys for the couple have asked the judge to lift a no-contact provision between James, Jennifer, and their son, Ethan. Currently, Ethan is not allowed to be in contact with his parents. The FAA is investigating new safety allegations involving Boeing Dream Liners. A whistleblower Boeing engineer, Sam Salapour, alleges 777 jets could have damaged parts. Boeing disputes the 787 allegation, saying it worked with the FAA to ensure the issues don't cause safety concerns. The company has yet to comment on the allegations about its 777 jets. The Senate subcommittee is holding a hearing about the concerns with Boeing next week. The Biden administration has finalized strict limits on certain so-called forever chemicals in drinking water that will require utilities to reduce them to the lowest level they can be reliably measured. Officials say this will reduce exposure for 100 million people and help prevent thousands of illnesses, including cancers. While health advocates praised the decision, water utilities took issue, saying treatment systems are expensive to install and that customers will end up paying more for water. Legal challenges are sure to follow. Track and field is set to become the first sport to introduce prize money at the Olympics. The World Athletics saying it would pay 50000 to gold medalists in Paris. $2.4 million is already being set aside for the 48 events on the program for this year's Paris Olympics. Relay teams will split the cash between their members. The price of a postage stamp could rise again in the next few months. The U.S. Postal Service filed a notice with the Postal Regulatory Commission on Tuesday. The post office is recommending raising the price of first-class mail forever stamps from 68 to 73 cents. Stamp price has already increased in January. If this new change is approved, it would take effect July 14th. YouTube Music has a new feature. The activity feed will alert you when your favorite artist releases new music. It will appear under the bell icon normally used for notifications. Subscribing to artists and or channels will help you take full advantage of the feature. Google just unveiled a new AI-powered video creation tool. It's called Google Vids, built as your video editing, writing, and production assistant all in one. It will be a part of Google Workspace, allowing you to collaborate with colleagues in real time in the browser. And that's today's 99.